uh, ever since I've been with them, naman, I, I, I saw them um, mature and I've seen them um, be better every day. Mm-hmm. And nasa ngayon talaga, grabe na yung leadership nila. Nakikita ko na siya nag, uh, nag-lead sa loob ng court, especially Faith. Kasi sa Ateneo, even though she's still a rookie, talagang pinapakita niya na um, nag-lead siya as if he's a senior. While yeah. he, Ivy naman, Ivy has been with NU ever since and nag-start kasi siya na medyo nahirap na siya mag-adjust but now I can see her as a very mature woman and I can see her sobrang lalaka sila sobra dahil sobrang disiplinado like she pays sobrang galing to school at actually lahat naman sila and with Miss Nerva naman, if you can see the YouTube um, videos of her during time out, grabe, she can talk. That girl really has a voice. She can mm-hmm. talk to yes. the players and they will really listen. So I think sobrang mahikita natin yung maturity nila this coming uh, game sa national team. It's really nice to see the development no, yeah, of absolutely. these players from high school and now into the seniors roster. Coach Reg, let's talk about height. Is this one of the biggest assets for Faith now that she's on the wing position? Um, for me, for me, I think this is one of the tallest um, national yeah. team ever uh, mm-hmm. line up for the Philippines team and the youngest also. So I think it's really, it's really going to be a big advantage in the international team. And hopefully, um, pagamit natin talaga yan to improve more para ma-improve yung standing ng Philippines sa international arena. You no, know, you mentioned it. Eh, that is the one of the younger teams. This is one of the taller teams that we actually did come up with uh, collectively. And I think it's plain to see na pang long term to. No, it's not just for this one term. It's for the development long term. So, how do you think this experience will help all of the all of the girls here, especially the very young ones, like the ones we've mentioned? Well, I think the uh, starting young talaga is very important. Because um, na papagiwanan tayo. Uh, for the last how many years in the volleyball, and I think it's a good place to start sa mga bata para yeah. in the future magkajel talaga sila na maayos and um pagkapag uh, lumaki sila together in inside the court and dun mahihita na magi-improve talaga yung Philippines so I can see I can I can see the good future naman for these kids and um fresh legs sila eh. so yeah I think, uh, mas pagiging mas um malaki yung opportunity nila sa change. Mm. And Coach Reg, lipa tayo sa libero. How different is Jen's style of play from the past liberos we have seen in the national team? We had Don Macandili, we had then the Lazaro Cat Arado. Ano yung pagkakaiba ni maibubuga ni Jen? Dahil i-tataas yung bandera ng Pilipinas niyon at a very young age. Um, I think Jen different different from other libero is that he is um, like a captain inside na rin. As, yeah. as in, he speaks a lot, he leads. Pero syempre, I think Dawn and the other liberos can help her pa. Uh, when, it, when, it, when it comes to experience and with uh, skills. But magandang start na then it can, can, can easily talk and speak with the players and they can listen. I mean, uh, iba pa rin yung may charm talaga sa teammates mo, iba yung respect ako nila. And I think that this girl can really um, improve the uh, the performance of the team this coming game. You know, you mentioned it already a while ago. Uh, there's a special voice. There's a leadership within the court, especially when talking about Jen. How unique is that in a young player? That uh, they're not afraid of how old how old uh, their teammates are and uh, vocal sila, even though maybe their skill level's not yet at par. What does that say about a young player? Kapag nakita mo yan? Um, as a coach, some uh, mababang level or, or then sa mga nagsistart pa lang or drafting. Um, it's really konti lang kasi yung mga ganong bata. Usually yeah. they just follow you, they just do what what uh, what you tell them to do. But when it comes to uh, kids na nag nagperform or naglilid by themselves without you, pag nakikita mo na ay yung batang to pinapakinggan ng kids, it's really a different thing. Parang ano siya, um, konti lang talaga yung ganon. One, 
parang konti lang siya in, tapos libero pa siya so mas maganda yun for me kasi madami yung mag-release sa loob hindi lang yung team captain hindi lang yung seniors but also the young ones yeah, you know, we also have a couple of more more players we want to talk about specifically, Ayi, right? Yes, and let's talk about Mikaela Belen, Camille Cal. Ito mga bata mo, coach. Nakita mo silang lumaki, nasa poder mo sila. You had that mentorship on them. And you know, Bell is one of the most anticipated players in the UAAP seniors. How excited are you to see her play for the flag and country once again? Well, I'm really happy that na lahat sila, I mean, most of them went to the national team and I'm really happy na uh, mapakita nila kung ano yung mga natutunan nila before and ngayon to help them grow. Uh, I'm really excited for Micaela Belen because um, she has been very um, talked about since ever since kasi yung batang to is very um, all around. Yeah. She can do uh, she, she's really good um, defensively and also offensively. Um, also, this girl is not that tall, but talented talaga yung batang to. As in, um, innate sa kanya yung pagiging volleyball player. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, si Miss Cal naman is a girl with so much potential. Kasi, um, I think sobrang tagal natin last time nagkaroon ng setter na matangkad and pataas to balo. A very athletic girl. Yeah. This, uh, I mean, this girl is not yet na, uh, nakakapag-compete ng sobrang dami na experience inside the court. As a setter, ah, hindi pa siya ganun ka um, dami experience but her potential is uh, sobrang dami pang pwede mangyari in the future. Lalo pa ngayon sila ko um, the Brazilian coach na yung nag-take over and a uh, coach RG. I think she's going to um uh, perform well in the arena and also sana makuha sila ng mga experiences internationally so that they can improve every day and mature with others. Let's say the Philippine fans will finally see these girls in action in, on the international stage. Uh, siguro trial by fire to eh. Once they yeah. are finally put into the fire, what can we expect from these five girls in particular? Well, I think these five girls, offensively talaga, they really have this really, really good potential to outwit the opponents. And also, uh, makita natin with these girls, the leadership that, kasi they have been to so many games, so many competitions, and um, they played international, international talent. So I think these girls are confident now to play outside. Siyempre, for now, we won't expect na champion agad or something, but hopefully, yes. Pero sa ngayon, um, the next generation players hopefully mature together. I think they gel na eh, kasi they've been together for, for how many years na. Kahit nag-college na yung iba, um, they, uh, and the friendship and the and I think the communication is still there. So I think they're going to, to um, show everything they got in the sport. And yes, Coach Reg, what might be the biggest challenge for your players as they join the national seniors team? Um, difficulty, siguro for now is, siempre ma intimidate sila with yeah. the um, with the el uh, older players, and siempre they will feel na kasi lumakas sila na sila yung magale, sila yung agree, sila yung um, sila usually yung um, Kaya pakinggan ng mga bata. This time around, I think, maya, siguro yung mga difficulty, I think it's a learning process for them na sila naman ngayon yung susunod ulit. Kasi it's been pa, uh, so many years since sila yung nagbibisan school nila. I think it's time for them to learn more things other than what they've experienced in high school. Alright.